Hey guys, it's Dan O'Donnell here from PositiveAtmosphere.com. Not sure if you can really see me very well right now. But I'm up uh, hiking up on my way to Park Butte right now in Washington State, right near Mount Baker. The sun's about to set. Um, I'm most of the way there, so I'll be alright. Plus I got my cougar bait frog dog up there, just in case. But anyway, um, so today's September 11th, 2009, and um, that date kind of snuck up on me. But I wanted to say a little piece today about tolerance and forgiveness, um, being that it's September 11th, and talk a little bit about revenge. And I'll try to make this quick, but um, a great um, life coach that I know, Linda Giles, told us one time at a talk that she gave that everybody's doing the best they can with what they know. And um, nobody wakes up in the morning and says, hey, today I'm going to try to be a really crappy human being. That struck a chord with me, and I think I really agree with it. Um, it makes it a lot easier to forgive people if you can try to understand where they're coming from and what they might have gone through. Um, you know, nothing happens just randomly. There's a reason for everything. Now, that doesn't make the action right, but if you can understand where people are coming from, it'll avoid, uh, you know, pointless reactions and um, overreactions and violence that begets more violence and, um, you know... This isn't a political statement, or maybe it kind of is, but, um, you know, if you look at what happened on September 11th, as horrible as it was, uh, I'm pretty sure we've lost, you know, more troops than the citizens we lost on that day, uh, and that doesn't, doesn't even count the troops of other countries, uh, civilians of, you know, Iraq and Afghanistan, and all the other people that have been affected by it. So, um, tolerance and forgiveness, I think, are... Um, something that everybody could work on a little bit. I know I can, and I uh, just wanted to say this today. So I'll, I'll pan out and give you a view, if you can see it at all, of Mount Baker. Um, I know it's getting dark, but there it is, way up there. Um, let's see here. That's up towards Park Butte, out towards the west. It's a great weekend to be up in the mountains. I'm glad I'm up here and glad I did it. Have a little peace and quiet and time to just kind of hang out and relax and enjoy myself. Here comes Frog chasing something. Anyway, have a good one, you guys.